Hello and welcome to Vice Man Channel. I sense a disturbance in the force. HID, who we all love and respect, they are making rumors go wild in the community with a new mandatory update to the Reader Manager app that is being pushed out this week by the 25th of January, as we will see. We will take a look at what is being said and our, put our own reflections onto it. Stay tuned. The HID Reader Manager app is using Bluetooth to connect to an iCloud SE or Signal or a modern reader that we have in order to configure and make sure that it has enabled or disabled some certain uh, technologies for it. So what we have here is the release of the app and we're saying that it's a mandatory upgrade and you have to do it in, you know, as of the 25th of January 2024, that is in three days. Now, enhancements include improved security of application and read configuration. Eh, that's normal. The app will disable configura configuration card use during inspection. That is dodgy. Identify legacy technologies currently enabled in the SC reader and offer the opportunity to disable them. That is also dodgy. And once the legacy technology is disabled, you will have to contact the HID to re-enable it. Wow, that's a biggie. So what does this all mean? Well, we have another picture here. This is the technologies that we're now considering legacy. It is iClass Legacy, iClass SC, MyFair Classic, HID Proximity, Ovid Primary, Dorado Proximity, EM Proximity, and CSN over HF credentials. Now, the big one here is iClass SC. That was considered to be you know, a state of art just a month ago or something like that, and now it's legacy. Boom, like that. Uh, we did a coverage with uh, Evil Damon about CSN over HF credentials a month ago. You can watch that. You can look at that video and see what that was all about. So I understand that that one is now a uh, legacy thing because it was a downgrade thing. So all this is about downgrade attacks. This is how you counter downgrade attacks. You take a secure element like a CROS credentials and you extract the PAX uh, data and then you encode it in a, one of its different older uh, legacy technologies or uh, multi-tech readers. Now they also made a whole document about this one, uh, safeguarding against legacy downgrade attacks. This is a five page PDF from them talking about uh, downgrade attacks. Now this is a complete turnaround. This is a 180. Uh, remember that the Cedar app uh, using, uh, for Flipper Zero using a SAM, a genuine HID SAM, in order to read out legacy, uh, read out the packs data from a CEO's credential was released over 10 months ago for Flipper Zero and it was nothing, it was nobody cared, nobody said anything about it. And, eh, as long as we were selling the genuine SAMs, everybody seemed to be happy about it. In November, we started seeing that SAMs was not longer available to be bought. You couldn't buy them anymore because we started using it in the in the Proxmark and everywhere else in order to do this because pen testers and everybody realized this is a good way to do perform uh, tests. And then IPVM did an article series about downgrades attack and what's going on. And I think this is what put the real pressure about it. This is most likely what IPVM has uh, announced. And we also made an article today about uh, this uh, reader changing as all. So I'm pretty sure that the whole scene got more aware giving the IPVM's coverage about it because before they didn't care. So you have this, they care about downgrades attacks. All right. The SC being disabled as phased out as a legacy is very strange to me. However, it's usually based on iClass, uh, it's based on the PicoPass technology and those are notorious easy to tear off and you can do things with them. So I guess a lot of those attacks is for PicoPass. So I can see why they're disabled, but it's strange. It doesn't make sense why it would be. Another thing that would be, you know, strange when we look at it is the second thing we're talking about here. And that would be disabling config configuration cards use during the inspection. Why would they have to do that? Why did you need to disable that one? 
I think, you know, if you add these things together that it's pushed out, it's a mandatory change, and they're doing things and disabling things straight out of box like that, something is going on that we're not knowing about. The rumor says that there are some CVEs coming out and I searched the CVE database on Saturday and I didn't see anything like that. Could be just a rumor. Uh, but, you know, if it's a mandatory update, maybe it's an indication that HID got aware of it. With that said, I think, you know, if you let me know in the comments below your thoughts about this and this whole scenario, I would appreciate it very much. And as always, if you liked this video, please subscribe and smash that like button. Uh, feel free to become a patron and support my work. Do whatever you want to do. Just make, you know, shine your love over me. And um, I hope you enjoy this uh, section of the news. Iceman out.